Good Morning America continues live from Times Square with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. Spring day out there in Times Square. Everyone getting crazy, including Lara right here. The theme song, the Jersey Shore, that is why we are playing it. But let's look at Snooki right now. You know Snooki. Really, control room, are you having fun? <laughs> George, can we switch to Snooki? Yeah, please, let's pull up some Snooki right there because she is speaking out for the first time about her pregnancy, about her fiancé, Johnny, and what it all means for the hit show, Jersey Shore. Could she be leaving? There's Johnny right there. Could she be trading in late nights at the club for baby nights in? We're going to hear all about it just ahead. Who knows what's going to happen? Is he, are you all right there? I'm all right. You're, uh, you're apparently, here's something. DeAndre, your stylist, was just telling me that my tape was showing. Better that. <laughs> then, oh, then, uh, if you're going to have a wardrobe malfunction, that's, that's not a bad fine, one right? to have. That's approved. This is really going to get these guys over here going, George. Also ahead. Oh, they're not paying attention. <laughs> also ahead? Yes. How women stay so, so slim. So slim. So slim. Just, just women. Just women. Just, just women. Just just women. women. This is the, the secret to living skinny while not saying no to every temptation. Just for women. But just for say, say, how do you keep this? You know, you know so Josh fit and trim. Sam here in the big city. I say no to a lot of temptation, Josh. <laughs> well, just say no. Most. Just say no. <laughs> so many places to go, but he said we'll go to Cam Matheson. He has gone to the dogs this morning. He's here to kick off our extreme camp out series. This is our winter edition. We sent him oh, to try one of the Honestly, the craziest and coldest sports on earth. They asked me to do this, and the answer was a resounding no. So Cam is far more courageous. They're beautiful. We're going to meet them coming up, but first got to get some news. Josh Elliott. All right, and we're going to begin with the Super Tuesday results. They are in this morning, and they're not exactly what frontrunner Mitt Romney was hoping for. Romney is the apparent winner in the battleground state of Ohio, but he's only 8,000 votes ahead of Rick Santorum at this point. And although Romney won states from New England to Virginia and Alaska, he faced failed to win in the South, where Santorum came on strong. And so we'll go day by day, step by step, door by door, heart to heart. There'll be good days, there'll be bad days. Always long hours, never enough time to get everything done. When they thought, oh, okay, he's finally finished. We keep coming back. Now, even though the delegate math shows Romney is on track to eventually clinch the nomination, Santorum could pick up even more momentum because he's favored in several upcoming Southern primaries. Meanwhile, police in Michigan are trying to track down a missing couple and their infant son. They disappeared from their small town, leaving their home, business, and belongings behind. ABC's Rena Ninen is here with the very latest. Good morning to you, Rena. Good morning, Josh. It's been three weeks without any word. The family is asking for an email, a letter from them, a call, any sign that they're okay. It's a baffling disappearance, a small Michigan town, a young couple who never missed a day working at their successful cleaning business, suddenly gone. They would never leave their customers. This morning, police and their families want to know what may have led Timothy and Sabrina Medsker and their four-month-old son to vanish without a trace. This is 100% out of character and very concerning. The Metzgers were last seen at a birthday party for their niece February 5th. Eleven days later, on February 16th, Timothy called his mother. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. They even talked about attending a baby shower this weekend. They were going to get a gift for the shower, so they were planning on coming. Despite repeated attempts to track them down since that call, no one has heard from them. Police say it's likely they left suddenly in the middle of packing. All their personal property, computers, clothing, uh, food. It looks like something spooked them. Police say right now there's no reason to suspect foul play and believe they left by choice. Come and Sabrina. We love you. And we love Joshua. Please just call somebody and or write or email. Please let us know if you guys are okay because we love you and we're worried about you guys. Their phones keep going to voicemail. Police searched the home a second time this week and took computers and personal papers, but so far, no leads. Josh? Rena, thank you. Meanwhile, overnight, the sun unleashed another very powerful so solar flare capable of interfering with radio and GPS frequencies. It could also affect some airline flights over the North Pole. The eruption, one of the strongest class 
of flares. And the moon is now being blamed for causing the Titanic disaster 100 years ago. Scientists in Texas are floating a new theory. They say a once-in-a-lifetime high tide caused by the moon's extreme proximity to the Earth in 1912 contributed to very high sea levels, which then caused icebergs to move into the, the Titanic's path. Apparently, the moon, the sun, and the Earth aligned in a way, guys, that only happens once every 1,400 years. So we're on the clock. About 13 <laughs> oh, goodness. So we're clear. <laughs> that was some news. Absolutely. Good morning to you all and to you. Natalie Portman, didn't she look ravishing in red on the Oscars red carpet? Well, the gown she wore, that vintage Dior dress from 1954, was adored by so many. It apparently made a really big impression on one couture collector in London who paid, get this, guys, 100 and, no, sorry, that was aggressive, $50,000. <laughs> we're not kidding him all. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I did love it. Uh, $50,000 for this one-of-a-kind frock. It turns out Portman borrowed it from a company called Rare Vintage, who then capitalized on the free advertising on that Oscars carpet. I mean, talk about product placement. Well, then they sold the dress on their website. Huh. It was gorgeous. $50,000. Mm -hmm. $50, I know. All right. Anyway, Saved by the Bell, Elizabeth Berkeley has something she wants to share with all of us. Listen. So She's thrilled to announce that she and her husband, David Lauren, Ralph Lauren's nephew, are going to be parents. Hey, the couple is expecting awesome. their first child this summer. And just to show you how many Saved by the Bell fans there are still out there, within hours after we put this news on our GMA website, almost 30,000 people had clicked on it. Wow. So wow. still a lot of fans. Huge, fan. Huge, Huge fans. Saved by the Bell fans. Yeah. I was. I, I promise you. I don't doubt episode. that for one second. My, mother, my mother's <laughs> very proud. <George. laughs> very, very proud. Hey, speaking of social media, um, Lady Gaga has just broken a huge record. She's the first to reach 20 million followers on oh. Twitter. That's 2 million more than the next most popular Twitter guy, Justin Bieber. Gaga attributes her success to the fact that she actually writes her tweets herself, tra chatting with her little monsters directly about everything from social issues to her eclectic style. Big milestone that is a there. 20 million. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm all um, about 20 million behind. <laughs> Closing in on you, Gaga. Yeah. For you. <laughs> and finally, the Chinese have given us so many delicacies, and we have given them Dunkin' Donuts. The donut chain so popular over there now, the parent company will open another 100 stores, bringing the total to 250 outlets. And their top seller in China, not the glaze, not the Boston cream, no, it's the pork donut. It's like a jelly donut, only the jelly would be pork, and instead of powdered sugar on top, that would be seaweed. Miami Heat's LeBron James. He's not a pork dumpling. Well, kind of, except it's a donut. Uh, <laughs> he'll be running on Duncan. He has just signed a multi-million dollar deal to be the, chain, the chain's Asian ambassador. They say he is, quote, huge over there. And this just in, he's huge. Here, too. Here, Everywhere. too. That's not a donut. No. Pork him some. He's not a donut. Yeah, it's a dumpling. Okay, call LeBron. <laughs> hey, call That's Sam Champion. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Tell me your name, sir. I'm Zach. Zach, and you're with a bunch of guys from where? Yeah, we are from the U Penn chapter Sigma Alpha Epsilon. Right. Okay. Now, Zach, you had everybody in the show do what with the gnome? Uh, we, we had a bunch of people kiss the gnome. It's yeah. the lucky gnome from, yeah. from U Penn okay. Theta. All right. Now, this is just this isn't like this is just something you guys started, right? It's it's a uh, a, a chapter <laughs> tradition. Yes. Ah, ah. Yes. All right. And the legally gotten garden gnome. Let's get to the boards. We'll show you exactly what's going on this morning. We want to start with a live shot of Philadelphia WPVI, the station we love that knows everything there is to know about Philadelphia. Just shows you what those skies are looking like. And here's what happens. We've got that hint of spring today and tomorrow. So all you guys with the garden gnomes and everyone else, enjoy these temperatures as they go climbing in the 60s and the 70s in a lot of locations. And then we've got this little shot of cold air with this storm that'll kind of go up and down with the temperatures to the middle of the country. Denver, the, the I already kissed the gnome. the gnome. Don't start it's that. Don't know. That's the weather around the nation. The here's what it's you can expect this morning. No. A lot of clouds to start off our day and warm temperatures to go along with it. Upper 40s already here for most of the area to start off the day and even a few 50s sprinkled in there. So mostly cloudy skies will prevail today. It is going to be breezy with those strong south-southwesterly winds at times up around 20, maybe 30 miles per hour with afternoon drizzle and showers developing. Look at those daytime highs well above average. Maybe a few flakes mix in late, especially to the north as temperatures drop down to around 30 degrees. And then sunshine right into the weekend and back to the 50s. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> can we set up a kiss cam? Is that possible? For Sam? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Sam. We'll move on. Here's a look at what's coming up on our GMA morning menu. Snooki is speaking out for the first time about her future with baby and a new fiance. And is she turning her back on her Jersey Shore roots? Also, the secrets of staying model skinny but still having the treats you love. We're going inside the city diet. Cameron gets crazy. His daredevil trip with 14 dogs into the wild. Get ready for Extreme Campout Winter Edition. GMA's morning menu is brought to you by Coffee Mate Natural Bless. Add your flavor naturally. Introducing Coffee Mate Natural Bliss. Made with only milk, cream, a touch of sugar, and pure natural flavors. Who knew being natural could be so delicious? Coffee Mate Natural Bliss from Nestle. Add your flavor naturally. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is completely unethical. My hours are unethical. I don't have time to sit around searching tons of travel sites looking for flights and hotels. Just use Kayak. It compares hundreds of travel sites in seconds. Well, I guess you're the brains of this operation. <laughs> Compare hundreds of travel sites at once. Kayak. Search one and done. For years, you've struggled with heavy cat litter. Oh. And you've found ways to cope. <laughs> but now, there's new Cat's Pride Fresh and Light. Its special blend not only absorbs odor-causing enzymes, it's up to 25% lighter, with the same number of uses as other clumping litters. Less work for you and your cat. New Fresh and Light. Changing litter for good. Getting grime from deep inside grout takes the right tools, but also a caring touch. You learn to get a feel for the trouble spots, to know its wants, its needs, its dreams. Never again do you have to choose between lotions that feel good or do good for skin. Next Generation Vaseline Total Moisture does both by infusing moisture deep down and absorbing quickly. Vaseline feels good, does good. If you have rheumatoid arthritis, can you start the day the way you want? Can Arencia help? I wanted to get up when I was ready, not my joints. Could your I want become I can? Talk to your doctor. Orencia reduces many RA symptoms like pain, morning stiffness, and progression of joint damage. It's helped new RA patients and those not helped enough by other treatments. Do not take Orencia with another biologic medicine for RA due to an increased risk of serious infection. Serious side effects can occur, including fatal infections. Cases of lymphoma and lung cancer have been reported. Tell your doctor if you are prone to or have any infection like an open sore or the flu, or a history of COPD, a chronic lung disease. Orencia may worsen your COPD. Here's information you need to know. Orencia is available in two forms, infusion and also self-injection. Talk to your doctor to see if Orencia is right for you, and see if you can change I want to Oh Yes I Can. Introducing Chico's new So Slimming Jean. With a fit that flatters, thanks to a built-in secret that swims. Amazing. Chico's So Slimming Jean. Only at Chico's and Chico's.com. What's in a muffin, wondered Allie Mae Guffin. What could make Thomas as taste as it does? Is it the crannies, the ridges, the batter? Or is it the nooks that make it all matter? Allie looked in the nooks, the crannies she eyed. She took a big bite and then smiled wide. So you like English muffins? Observed her mom, Kate. I do. <laughs> Agreed, Allie. This muffin tastes great. Thomas's, the original nooks and crannies English muffin. Also try the great taste of Thomas's light multigrain English muffins. Memory foam was invented when man first walked on the moon. At Serta, we thought it was time someone reinvented it. The iComfort Sleep System by Serta. Featuring the world's first memory foam infused with our micro support gel. For cooling comfort and extra support where you need it most. 
And right now, get a limited edition CERTA counting sheet and support the fight against cancer. Visit a CERTA retailer or CERTA.com for details. Time for all the latest on Snooki in the new issue of Us Weekly. The star of Jersey Shore is speaking out for the first time about getting married, having a baby, and what that all means for her future. And the other big question, what it all means for her mega-hit reality show. And ABC's Chris Connolly is joining us now with more on all that. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, George. Snooki is having a baby, and fans of Jersey Shore may be having a cow. What will the show be like without the queen of chaos raising a ruckus, drinking and driving everyone crazy? Well, if the party seems like it's over for Snooki, the fun is just getting started. Time was when the only thing Nicole Snooki Polizzi was expecting was another one of these and another one of those. And when her idea of toilet training was, well... I don't care. Now Jersey Shore's 24-year-old party-hardiest personality is confirming to Us Weekly that she's 15 weeks pregnant with a bun in the oven and a ring on her finger. News of what new fiancé Johnny Laval calls a happy accident comes after days of right-to-your-face fibbing by the reality star. Being pregnant should be like, you know, a real thing and a happy thing, and I'm not, and, you know, I've been working on my fitness a lot. Snooki told us she's sorry about all that lying but wanted to play it safe by waiting until she was three months along before getting word out. She says she's sworn off caffeine and alcohol, but admits to some partying in Las Vegas just days before her positive test. She freaked out because she did go out and party quite a bit on New Year's Eve, but obviously those days are now over for her while she prepares for motherhood. While she's currently shooting a Jersey Shore spinoff with Wow, Snooki says her larger-than-life self won't be living in the Jersey Shore house next summer, though she says she may visit. And as for kicking it at a club while pregnant, Snooki, yes, Snooki, calls that behavior disgusting. Remind us, what universe is this? In classic Snooki fashion, the way she described her morning sickness was, she said, I feel really hungover. That's more like it. But what will happen to the ratings monster that is Jersey Shore? Not having Snooki on Jersey Shore on a weekly basis will be a real challenge for MTV. Uh, she is a big reason why people tune in. So if it seems as if so much has changed about Snooki in a very short time, at least one thing remains the same. As she put it last summer, why do you think people are so fascinated by you? Um, I don't know. I think I'm real, and I think I don't, you know, I just don't give a shit what anybody says about me. <laughs> Her cravings include olives and gelato. I don't know if that's together. At the Us Weekly photo shoot, she had some morning sickness and took a sip of ginger ale, but declined the offer of crackers because she says they have carbs. Okay, Jordan. all the scoop from Chris Connolly, and it's all in Us Weekly, which hits newsstands this Friday. Lara? Thank you, George. And now we go to the new secrets of being slim in the city. And how so many women here in New York are staying model thin. Their tricks now being revealed in the new book. It's called The Manhattan Diet. And ABC's Juju Chang is joining us with all of the details. All Fill us of the in. secrets. Well, you know, they say it's not a diet. It is a way of life. And these are women who behave like skinny women throughout the world. They exercise. They eat small meals. They spread them out throughout the day. And they do it with a lot of style and nervous energy. Welcome to Manhattan. <laughs> They put Manolo's and Jimmy Choo's on the map. But we were just as obsessed with the Sex in the City brunches and desserts and those cosmopolitans. But how in the world did they and so many other real Manhattan women stay so thin? In a city with the most four-star restaurants in the country, dessert carts and pizzerias on every corner. I'm on this new diet. It's very effective. Well, I don't eat anything. And when I feel like I'm about to faint, I eat a cube of cheese. Contrary to how the fashionistas of the Devil Wears Prada eat, the new diet suggests that skinny New Yorkers indulge their cravings. The Manhattan diet is about eating what you want, but only a little bit of it. It's all about portion control. Eileen Daspin, a journalist and bona fide foodie, interviewed more than a hundred think skinny Manhattanites to discover their secret. The top tips they gave her? Buy and eat small portions. Try smaller plates. Get competitive in exercise classes. Bring a friend or just outdo the stranger next to you. Shop for groceries early and often to ensure freshness. Sneak in workouts. The diet also suggests women cheat every once in a while with small desserts or a glass of wine. All right, cheers.
I'm always on the go. You're, you know, you're always on the move, so it's really important to always have snacks in your bag. Yeah, Sarah Pilot is a size stuff. zero, so Park go, Avenue go, mother of two, who day, says her trick is to never clean her plate. Day. You would be satisfied with just one bite? Uh, not a bite, but maybe half. Yeah, you know, but maybe in an hour from now I would want more. Yeah. You know, I just I try to eat a little bit at a time, but frequently. And sure enough, after enjoying the chocolate treat, she made sure to burn it off later at a competitive spinning class. That's also what keeps New York women very thin, is that we're always moving, whether we're with our children, or we're with our friends, or we're working. But is this diet actually good for you? The diet isn't necessarily healthy. In fact, there are some things that people would be thinking is downright unhealthy. I think it's healthy, but I think it's un unhealthy to deprive yourself of stuff. Eileen stresses the importance of eating small bites throughout the day. Snacks like kale and apple chips, banana, dried mango. As a Manhattanite, someone who lives in New York, you know, you're always on the go. There's, you always have to be someone and you're always running late. And whether you're walking or whatever it is that you're doing, it, you're always moving. Now, healthy snacking throughout the day is key, so you never get too hungry or too full. But here are some examples of healthy snacks. And again, never deprive yourself. So occasionally, you know, these are mango chips. Try one of those. Yeah, and you could have cashews or blueberries. Or some women would have, like, 28 M&Ms. And you have to count 28? Yeah, exactly. Or a Twizzler. Between you and I, we can split the rest of the pack. Yeah. This is, in theory. And if one. I'm really feeling wild, I'm going for the one Tootsie Roll. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Juju Chang. Great secrets. Let's get out to Robert Roberts outside. Hey, Larry. Thank you. And for the record, I kissed the gnome. Now to our extreme camp out winter edition. We came up with three of the toughest and chilliest challenges we could think of. One of them involves sled dogs just like those right there. Out on the trail with Cam on one of our coldest adventures ever. And should we introduce our friends here first? Yeah, absolutely. Hey. Yeah, we've got uh, uh, Horatio there. I've got Horatio. You've got Arwen. And, and we'll, we'll get into that in a second. Mm -hmm. and, and the good news is I've thought out from this experience. This is, this is nothing compared to the very snow wintry cold state of Maine where I went for my extreme winter camp out to try a, a, a wild wild winter sport a sport in which I strap skis to my feet and then strap myself to the back of a horse take a look what? That's true. <laughs> strapped to a horse skiing at a breakneck pace like seems like a bad idea right hey! Actually, it's the exhilarating 700-year-old Scandinavian sport of ski joy, which begs the question, who lived to tell about it? Every year, brave souls, or crazy souls, depending on your perspective, gather in Whitefish, Montana for the ski joying championships. Ski joying was also the theme for my extreme winter campout. We're going to head down here to the puppies. I headed to Mason Township in western Maine, where Steve Crone operates New England dog sled and the Telemark Wilderness Lodge. Ski joring is done with horses and dogs. Steve and I were going to feed the puppies and immediately I was ransacked by some of the best bred dogs yeah, in the world. But he's all, oh, 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 Hawk, look out, Hawk. But I didn't come to feed puppies. I came to do some ski joring. Now you're going to put the legs in. You can reach down, put the left leg in. When we reached the site, Steve put a harness on my partner, Harvey. Harvey's going to be teaching you how to ski behind dogs. Are you going to help me out? Then it was my turn to suit up. Two-inch fast tech buckle there. I guess I'm a little fatter than the last guy that used this. Hold on a minute. Does it matter that I've never skied on Nordic skis before? You're an incredible athlete, I've heard, so well, you're not going to have any problems. But at all. I'm Maybe the one who told you that. Well, yeah, well, I told you so far. We'll see shortly, okay? I like to stand out when I'm ski joring. The dogs are looking at me like, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! I can quickly see why this is the fastest growing dog sport in the world. Imagine water skiing on snow with a dog instead of a boat providing the power. I was doing so well with Harvey, they decided to lighten his load and add another dog. Now, I was really cooking. I see what you're talking about. The next step, something I had never tried before, snowboard. And while we're at it, why not snowboard behind a pack of 14 dogs? Naturally. What seemed like a great idea 30 seconds ago, was suddenly a very bad idea. I got a couple things to work on with the snowboard. Oh, oh. 
slightly bruised but undaunted, I recovered and even got comfortable enough to try a few tricks. For my final run of the day, I went back to my roots. Traditional snow skis and a loop around a picturesque frozen lake. My lodging for the night? An authentic Native American style teepee, a roaring fire, and a chance to reflect on an amazing day. Harvey, hear that? <laughs> I'm the second guy ever to snowboard behind a dog sled. Big time. Yeah. You may be the second dude doing it, but uh, you're the best one so far. Yeah? You, you got it, dude. Congratulations. Yeah, really? and, 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 and Harvey likes you, and that's the most important thing. Today, we work. Tonight, we rest. And tomorrow, more adventure. Good night, Harv. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. I'm pretty certain no one would confuse me with the professional ski drawers in Montana, but Jazzy here gave me a chance to experience ski drawing behind a horse. Coasting through a spectacular meadow on a crisp main day, I was able to reflect on two days I won't soon forget. Look at him posing for, for his close-up. Oh, I mean, I knew he, these dogs are unbelievable athletes. I didn't know they were big hands for the camera. Oh, they, they love to run. I'm telling you right now, you just got to hold up the harness, and they will go and go and go. It's pretty amazing. Oh, they're in beautiful. Fact, in fact, Horatio's grandfather is running in the Iditarod right now. Really? Yes, Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, you took a little nasty tumble there, my friend. I did. Okay? I did. Physically, I'm fine. Emotionally, the ego still bruised. Mm. Still getting over that. Would you take the family out? <laughs> I, would, oh, like I really would. The kids would love it. Uh, and they've already reached out to me to, to bring uh, the family out. They're great guys out you there. You are a good test buddy for us. For yeah, this. Hey, listen, I love to do it. Coming up tomorrow, our Extreme Camp Out Winter Woo! Edition gets even colder. Yeah! Back up with amazing ice adventure! She seduced my girlfriend. She made me tuck her in at night. Do not trust her. Don't, tr don't, don't, don't trust her. Uh, sorry. She's not going to see this issue. Don't listen to them. I'm amazing. Hi everyone, local news, I'm Catherine Bracho. The company that wanted to open an iron mine near Lake Superior is dropping the project after the state Senate failed to pass a bill the company wanted. Republican senators failed to gain enough support for the bill, which would have streamlined the permit process. Gogeba Taconite CEO Bill Williams said his company is now dropping plans for the mine in Wisconsin. Action 2 News has learned more details surrounding last month's triple murder-suicide in De Pere. The toxicology report shows Dennis Bay had nine times the normal dose of Seroquel in his system. That's a drug used to treat schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. The report also shows Bay's system had a high concentration of a drug called gabapentin, sometimes prescribed to treat bipolar disorder, plus a high level of a muscle relaxant. Police say Dennis Bay shot his wife and two children before killing himself. 827, Rebecca has the weather after a break. Action 2 News brought to you by Turex Plumbing. Got a leak? Call 1-855-4-TUREX. We'll be right over. The beauty of fine art and fresh flowers blends together in a sensational display at the Payne Art Center and Gardens. Rooms of Blooms, the third annual Greater Fox Valley Floral Show. Come and witness this breathtaking celebration of the art of floral design, featuring over 100 fresh arrangements within the ornate rooms of the Payne Mansion. Rooms of Blooms is on view Friday through Sunday, the first two weekends in March, at the Payne in Oshkosh. Lots of clouds hugging the state of Wisconsin, including right here in our viewing area. Despite those clouds, a very mild day in store. We're up to 50 now for places like Green Bay and Shawano, as well as Fond du Lac, 52 in Sheboygan. Only 41, though, in Kewanee, and some lower 40s in areas to the north. We're looking at a mainly cloudy and breezy day with afternoon drizzle and showers developing about 50 to the north, mid to upper 50s elsewhere. A few flakes possible late at night, lows right around 30, and sunshine returning tomorrow. As president of Northeast Wisconsin's number one mattress retailer, not a day goes by without somebody asking me what mattress brand I recommend. My response, the most highly recommended bed in America, is a Tempur-Pedic. And nobody sells Tempur-Pedic mattresses like WGNR Sleep Shop. If you're considering making a switch to Tempur-Pedic, WGNR Sleep Shop can help. Get two free pillows, a $200 value with any Tempur-Pedic mattress from WGNR Sleep Shop. Sleep better for less.
No one is tougher on their feet than me. Nobody. Between running our family ranch and directing traffic on state highways, my feet and whole body took a real beating. I developed plantar fasciitis, and it kept me from enjoying the special parts of my life. Nothing seemed to help. Until I found the Good Feet store. Within five minutes, I was standing pain-free thanks to Good Feet. Visit the Good Feet store in Appleton, east of 41, next to WGNR Furniture. Thanks to the Good Feet store.